You know how Flint and Tinder's flannel line wax trucker jacket has kind of taken the world by storm? Well, did you know that they actually make five other wax jackets? And one of them isn't even American made. So today I'm comparing these six waxy workwear inspired heavyweights and I'm going to let you know which one is my favorite. I'll give you a little hint. It's not the one you're probably thinking it is. Welcome to Stray Reviews. I'm Lee and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today I'm comparing every Flint and Tinder wax jacket. Now, just in case you're wondering, I am not including any of the waxed shirt jackets but they do look like some pretty nice options. Personally, I think Flint and Tinder hit a real sweet spot with their wax jackets, and that's why they've grown so much in popularity. They are a great combination of great design and wonderful materials, but they also exude just sort of this handsome masculinity, while for me at least, stirring up some feelings of nostalgia about the kind of jackets my dad and my grandfather left for work in each morning. I'm going to go over the details of these offerings and let you know some of the pros and cons that I've found. And just in case you're wondering, yes, full reviews of all of these are either available now or they're going to be available soon. So be sure to subscribe so they don't miss them. Also, if you want to take a closer look at any of these, I'll leave product links down in the description. Okay, let's start off with the jacket intended for the warmest weather of the bunch and the only unlined Flint and Tinder wax jacket, and that's the online wax trucker. This jacket is made from the same Martexan 7 ounce cotton cloth as the flannel line trucker and is nearly identical with the exception of having two exterior chest pockets instead of one. It also has some unique zigzag stitching on the front placket. The cuffs are adjustable if you consider the buttons on the cuffs. It has an interior pocket, it has hand warmer pockets, and it has heavy duty custom buttons. The unlined wax trucker sells for $228 and it's made in America. I got this jacket that I'm wearing and every other jacket that I'm talking about today in size medium. I'm five foot eight, I'm 165 pounds, and you know what? I just love the way each of these jackets fits on me. The online wax trucker gives me plenty of room for movement while still maintaining a slimmer appearance to it. I also love the way that this jacket looks. I got mine in the color Havana and it has this sort of rustic, manly appearance to it that I think just looks good with just about anything that I have on underneath it. With this jacket, I've pretty much replaced like my hoodies and my jean jackets and it really does get plenty of wear. The only downside to this jacket is without a lining, this jacket feels a bit clammy on my arms if I'm wearing short sleeves. And I know that sensation will go away in time as the wax wears off, but it's there now. Also, the pockets are online too, so putting your hands in them does really very little to warm them up and you get a nice waxy feeling when you do. This jacket is great for anyone who's just wanting to maybe replace their jean jacket with something super handsome and that offers a measure of water repellency. All right, next up is the most popular of today's jackets. Also, it's the most popular item on the entire Huckberry website. It's the flannel lined wax trucker jacket. Made from the same 7 ounce material that the unlined jacket comes from, this jacket is lined with a soft polyester lining and it's through the entire jacket, including the sleeves. And when I say polyester lining, I mean a polyester flannel. It also has an interior pocket, one chest pocket, and the same custom buttons as the unlined trucker. The flannel line version of the wax trucker sells for $298 and it's made in America. I actually bought my first flannel line wax trucker back in 2019 for 158 bucks. Score! <laughs> I've worn it so much that there's hardly any wax left on it. And I like it so much that I picked up a second one in navy blue. This jacket is so easy to love because it's just hard to look bad in. 
Like the online, it has kind of a slim silhouette without feeling constricting. It's also surprisingly warm for such a light jacket. And a lot of times I'll wear it all the way down into the low 30s. It really is one of my most worn pieces and it's easy to see why it's so popular. One of the only downsides to this jacket is that the pockets are online. So when your hands are cold and you, and you want to shove them into the hand warmer pockets, it just feels all cold and clammy in there. This jacket is really for anyone who wants a jacket that they can wear for, let's say, two thirds of the year and look good doing it. Next up is the wool line wax trucker. And this one takes everything the flannel line does and just kind of like kicks it up a notch. It's made from a heavier 8.25 ounce wax cotton shell and it has a wool blanket lining in the torso with a smooth polyester lining in the sleeves for getting it on and off easier like when you're wearing bulkier shirts underneath. The wool line has those familiar interior and chest pockets and it has the same custom buttons as well. And this one that I have here today is in the popular color field tan. The wool line version sells for $358 and is also made in America. This jacket really does seem to check all the boxes. It has the same trucker style as the other two with just a bit more room for heavier layers underneath. Here where I live, we get some pretty brutal winters and it's just great to have a uh, warmer version of the jacket that I like so much and that's the flannel lined icon. I've worn it in some pretty extremely cold temperatures and just thanks to being able to layer like a hoodie underneath, I did stay pretty comfortable. However, I do have the same complaint about this jacket as I do about the other two, and that's the clammy, cold hand warmer pockets. The Huckberry website does say that the knuckle side of the pockets are wool lined, and so it could be that this is just one that they made before they made that change. This jacket really is for anyone who loves the classic flannel line wax trucker but really want something warmer during the coldest winter months. Next up is the only non-American made jacket in the roundup today, and that's the flannel lined waxed Hudson jacket. This one uses an even heavier wax cotton at 10 ounces. It also has cotton flannel lining all throughout instead of like the polyester flannel lining that was in the wax trucker. And it has corduroy and wool trim. There are two drop-in pockets with hand pockets underneath them and a front flat pocket it has an interior pocket and it has a very large rear game pocket. The jacket also has a sturdy zipper, a snap placket, and I have this one in the color forest. The Hudson sells for $348 and it's made in Indonesia. Don't let the fact that it's not made in America fool you though. This really is a great jacket. I really like the fit and feel of this jacket. It gives more coverage than any of the trucker jackets and the flannel is softer and it really kind of seems to be made of like um, TARDIS technology <laughs> because it looks slim, but it gives plenty of room for layers and the pockets um, here are flannel lined as well at the knuckle. I also like that this jacket has a little more versatility than the truckers. And I feel, you know, fine wearing this jacket on occasions where like maybe the trucker would be too casual. The only minor gripe I have about this jacket is that I would prefer if the wool on the back of the collar was on the front of the collar. When it's cold and I want to keep the wind off my neck, I would rather have wool touching my neck than wax. This jacket really is for anyone who loves the warmth the wax and the flannel of the trucker, but wants a bit more classic style that can be worn on occasions that aren't just so casual. Next is the American made waxed mill jacket. The mill jacket is made from eight ounce waxed cotton, making it heavier than the flannel line wax trucker, but 
strangely, it actually feels a bit lighter. And it could be because it's a special tech wax textile instead of the Martexan used in the truckers. The inside is a smooth quilted polyester lining all throughout, and it makes the only jacket of the six that has that sort of fully smooth polyester lined inside. It has an interior pocket, two hand warmer pockets, it has adjustable snap cuffs, and a YKK zipper. I got this one in Forest, which looks a lot less brown than the Forest colorway of the Hudson jacket, and I really like it. The mill jacket sells for $298, the same as the flannel line wax trucker, and it's made in America. This jacket does so many things right. For instance, the corduroy is on the front of the collar, which means that I can turn up the collar to keep the wind off my neck and I'll feel soft corduroy instead of clammy wax against my neck. Also, the pockets are lined with corduroy. It's, it's almost like Flint and Tinder heard my prayers. This has a roomier fit than the flannel line wax trucker and I can layer a hoodie or maybe a sweater underneath it without any problem. And also the jacket just plain looks cool in my opinion. I really like this jacket and the only thing I would put on my wish list would maybe for it to be um, ha made of like the same shell as the trucker. The Martexan does seem to have sort of a beefier quality to it and I do prefer that. This jacket is for anyone who wants a great looking wax jacket that moves away from kind of like the trucker vibe and wants to be able to wear it fall, winter, and spring. Hey, if you like your wax canvas on the beefier side, then tap that like button for me. Okay, last but definitely not least, we have the flannel lined quilted waxed rancher. The shell is made from heavy 10 ounce Martexan waxed cotton canvas. The inside is cotton flannel that's insulated and it has polyester sleeves. It has one inside pocket, two chest pockets, and two hand warmer pockets. It also has the same buttons as the three trucker jackets and it has corduroy trim at the cuffs and under the collar. The Rancher sells for $398 and it's made in America. I'll just have to be honest and say right out of the gate that I really like this jacket. It is the warmest of all the Flint and Tinders and it is crazy comfortable. It kind of makes me want it to be like colder outside so I can wear it more often. In addition to looking great, it offers extra coverage, kind of like the Hudson. It's roomy enough to wear heavier layers underneath and the quilted flannel lining actually kind of feels like my favorite sleeping bag. On top of all of that, the pockets are lined with the same soft flannel as the body. My only wish for this jacket is that the corduroy was on the front of the collar instead of the back. If that were the case, this jacket, in my opinion, would be perfect. The Quilted Wax Rancher is for anyone who wants a warm, cozy, rugged wax jacket that they can comfortably wear, honestly, through the coldest weeks of the year. Hey, what do you wear during the coldest weeks of winter? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my favorite of the roundup today, but if you're getting some value out of this, then I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that Flint and Tinder is the king of wax jackets, and that's for a reason. I'm happy to have really all of these jackets, and I love that the way that they look, I love the way that they fit, and it's really tough for me to call a favorite here, but I'm gonna have to go with the wool lined wax trucker. <laughs> Keep in mind that as I say that, the wax rancher really does come in a close second. But the wax trucker is warm and it's roomy without adding too much bulk and it just looks BA. I do wear it the most and you know what I always say, the best jacket is the one you'll wear. Hey, which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see my full review of the wool line wax trucker, then you can check it out over here. I want to thank Huckberry for sending me these jackets for review. My opinions are my own. And I want to thank you for watching. 
I'll see you over in the next video.